What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here and welcome to the channel. I hate to make a video so quick when I just made another video on the same subject, but when news comes out about something that I'm talking about, I gotta keep you guys up to date with what's going on. So I did a video earlier and I was talking about Microsoft working to acquire Silent Hills as an Xbox One exclusive and how this rumor has been floating around the internet. The rumor was that the game was 80% complete and that Microsoft was willing to pay bill billions with a B uh, to acquire this. And in, in my previous video, I did say there was kind of a harebrained rumor and I did not believe there was much validity to it. It appears now that Xbox head Phil Spencer has uh, dispensed with the rumor and pretty much said it's bullshit. This article is on IGN.com. Xbox boss denies Microsoft purchase of Silent Hills for Xbox One. Just a day after reports surfaced Microsoft was in talks to purchase exclusive rights to Silent Hills, the Xbox boss has apparently put the rumors to rest. Quote, Sorry this isn't true. End quote. Head of Xbox Phil Spencer said in response to a Twitter user. Quote, Not sure where the rumor started, but I don't want to mislead anyone. End quote. Which is a smart decision on his part. I wouldn't want anybody to think that I was a part of something so stupid either. Yesterday, an anonymous person claimed Microsoft was in talks to purchase the rights of Silent Hills for billions of dollars by this year's E3, and the game was at 80% complete with a release date of March 2016 for the Xbox One. And as I said before, uh, Guillermo del Toro was involved with this, Hideo Kojima was involved with this, Norma Reedus is involved with this, and uh, Konami basically laid it to rest and completely stopped production of this game. At this point, uh, at least we know what it is. Microsoft isn't involved. There would be lots and lots of licensing and things like that nature would have to have to be changed in order for them to acquire something like this. Uh, they are not involved with purchasing this IP. Uh, Konami is still in really bad. Uh, they're in a bad spot in a bad light with lots of gamers and consumers, myself included. And uh, it is what is it what it is. Right now, Konami is going through this campaign to try to clean up their image and uh, make people think that, hey, that it's not as bad as it appears. They've uh, released statements stating that they're just moving in a different direction, but they do care about their IPs. They care about Metal Gear. They care about Silent Hill. And I don't know how much I believe it, and I really don't care too much anymore because the the minds behind Konami that made Konami great have all left. Uh, Koji Igarashi has left, you know, and that's the gentleman who created the great... Castlevania series, Symphony of the Night, all the GBA games, and he really uh, originated that Metroidvania uh, type of game. And now we've got Hideo Kojima gone, who of course is the mind behind the Metal Gear franchise and one of the great video game developer writers that I've, of, our, of our time, to be quite honest with you guys. And uh, what else does Konami have? They got fucking slot machines, so if you guys want to support Konami, Go, go to Japan and, and go play the fucking slot machines. I'm really at this point not too excited about anything else coming from Konami. I will be getting Metal Gear Solid, the, the final Hideo Kojima release from Konami. But from, from that point on, I don't know exactly what to expect. And I'm really not too excited about supporting this company anymore. A company that has built its foundation on the dollars of the gamers who have supported its developers and its games to completely turn his back on us and on what has what is originated as to me is kind of a spit in the face to all the hardcore people who've supported it. Like I said, Koji Igarashi now is creating his own game called Bloodstained that he did a Kickstarter for, and now they got a Wii U version being made because he's reached all his uh, you know his landmarks for the donations for his Kickstarter. That game is going to be awesome. Hideo Kojima is going to be stepping away from all his previous Konami duties. I want to see what he's going to do in the future. He was going to be making this Silent Hills game and I was excited about it because I'm really into J-horror. I think that Japanese horror is something that is not seen enough by the Western audience. I think it's great. It's a whole new take on scary shit. I remember when Juon first came out, I fell in love with it. Then they released a, a much worse uh, Western version called The Grudge. And I was really excited to see what, uh, what Hideo Kojima was going to come up with uh, for a game like Silent Hills. And PT looked really, really phenomenal. And when you couple him with uh, Guillermo del Toro, who made Pan's Labyrinth, which was, which was a very atmospheric, very creepy, and, and just an entertaining masterwork, 
I thought that Sally Hills was going to really, really breathe a whole new life into this franchise. At this point, the last three or four Sally Hills have been shit, just being honest with you guys. They released one for the Vita that was shit. They released The Room. They released like two or three for PS3. I got them. Those were shit. The last really good Silent Hill was Silent Hill 3. Part 2 was a masterpiece and one was, was pretty good. So Konami at this point is kind of dead to me. They have kind of uh, left me in a state of mind where I don't I, f- I know what the game is now. I know what their plan is now. You know, it's like uh, you go to give somebody a hug and they stab you and they don't kill you. And then you back up from them and you look at them and they say, no, I was just playing, man. You know what they're all about. Fuck you at this point, Konami. That's how I feel. That's the beast of gamer talking about it. I'm going to let the rest of this gameplay play. I hope you guys enjoy it. It was a pretty epic game. I don't think I died at all here, so let me know in the comments if you like this. Also, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah. 